everyone. Welcome to Mina Gaming Association Community Discussion, Episode 8, This Year in Gaming Review. I'm Randall, also known as Randallini. And I'm Nick, also known as MGA xow 2 k 3 And I'm Stephen Edwards, also known as Wish King 88 Our first question comes from Little Saint 1220 Favorite and least favorite character in a game. Why? My favorite... I'm going to go with the generic Master Chief. Because he was a badass. Blew shit up. Left. And I guess they're going to make a new Halo game and he's going to come back and it's going to make that answer change. But it hasn't happened yet. My favorite character would probably have to be... It'd it'd probably be a tie between Cloud from, you know, Final Fantasy VII, because it's Cloud, and he's the epitome of Final Fantasy characters, besides, you know, Sephiroth. And then uh, my other tied one would be probably Captain Price from Call of Duty, Modern Warfare, or COD 4 and Modern Warfare. What was he in COD 4? I don't remember. Yeah, I think so. I think so. But, uh, yeah, those would be my two favorite characters, just because they're both kind of badasses. Without a doubt, my favorite character in any video game, at least some of the new ones, would be me. Any game where I get to create my own character and destroy stuff with abandon, I am my favorite video game character. Favorite and least favorite character? Well... Final Fantasy VII's got to be Cloud Strife. Awesome dude. Do some awesome stuff. He can bring a freaking meteor from the sky. Come on now. Least favorite character. Sephiroth. He killed Eris. Why I hate him. I spent hours before anybody else getting her, getting her to level 99. Before everybody else was at level 20. Killed her. Mad. Did not even finish the game until two years later. <laughs> oh, no. Alright, now for my least favorite character. It would have to be, undisputably, undeniably, Navi from the Zelda Ocarina of Time. Without a doubt, that annoying flying... Hey, listen. I have to agree wholeheartedly with my friend Steven here. Nafi, the most annoying character. I didn't play the Zelda games a whole lot, but when I did, I hated that little fairy. I've never played the Zelda games, um, maybe once. And for that short amount of time, Navi said, hey, listen, 729 times in an hour. Most of the time, there was nothing there. Once... There was. He didn't warn me. So yeah, Navi. You might want to disclaim that as a little bit of hyperbole, my friend. And Navi's a sheep. Yeah. Okay. All right, and now our second question is from from Killa with Swag. That's cool. What is your most memorable moment? in a game. Mine would have to be kind of in a game and kind of with a game at the same time. I went up to our local movie store here. I rented a game. The name escapes me. I think it was Genji something. But I rented it. I played it for about five hours. In that five hours, I beat it. I took it back, got another game because I said it didn't work. That's my most memorable moment in a game with a game involving a game. All right. My most memorable, Pokemon Yellow, catching Mewtwo without a Master Ball. Because that was amazing at the time. Okay. My most memorable moment in a game was Final Fantasy VII. And anybody who's played the game 
and gotten to the final boss will tell you what a horrible pain it is to fight angelic form Sephiroth. I had just beaten him. Yeah, his five minute long attack, I just beat him. Game freezes during the uh, cutscene and all my save data on the memory card becomes corrupted. I will never forget that. It was like 9-11 for me. What is my most memorable moment in a game? It's actually pretty recent, too. It's from Ace Combat Assault Horizon, the last mission. Where you're literally flying through buildings, skyscrapers, and bridges. I have never been more into a game in so many years. It was really one of the most unique and most ex enjoyable moments in the game I've played in a long time. That is why I believe that is my most memorable moment in the game. My most memorable moment in the game would have to be when I was playing Gun on PS2. Uh, we had a bow and arrow that had a dynamite on it, shot it off into some TNT and blew the one of the uh, buildings completely down, and that was epic because uh, there, there were like uh, 12 or 13 kills I got just in that one shot. So that had to be my, my most memorable right there. My most memorable moment in the game, um, like I said before, I'm not really a storyline type person. I'm more of a multiplayer. So back in Gears of War 1, line firing from Canal Bridge to Canal Bridge, uh, just blind firing in general is just fun. Makes me like the game, want to play it more. Um, back in Call of Duty 4, quick scoping, it's amazing. I just love to kill people just one bullet right before they, you know, try to shoot me. Uh, it just pissed so many people off and it just made it funnier. My most memorable moment is from Super Mario World for the SNES. The final boss between Mario and Bowser. And the clown car used to freak me the heck out. Of course, I was like six years old back then. Our next question comes from Mr. DXHBKHHHSUCKIT. And they ask, Xbox 360, PlayStation 3, or Wii? Which is better, worse, why, what's good, what's bad? I own two out of the three, um, Xbox 360 and Wii. I've never been a fan of the PlayStation 3. Um, you know, PlayStation 3 has Final Fantasy, so that's why a lot of people would say they like it, but I have never been a fan of Final Fantasy games. Um, as far as the differences or what's good and bad between the Xbox and the Wii, um, the Wii, if you ever get to a point where you can't be physically active, like you break a leg, break an arm, you know, anything, then you basically have a paperweight, because although you can play the games with a controller, most of them aren't meant to be played like that, and it'll take a lot away from them, because a lot of them you have to move the Wiimote around and everything. Um... I've always been more of the console, sit down and play online against people games, and we, I never played online with it, but I could imagine it wouldn't be too great. I'd more Xbox 360 and Xbox Live. Um, so, yeah, that's my answer. Alright, the problem with this question is it takes three really good systems, the main systems on the market today, and asks us to compare them. A lot can be said. As Nick said, PlayStation 3 has the Final Fantasy games. Xbox has the Halo franchise. Wii has everything Mario and the Zelda games. Which makes it really hard to compare game-wise anyway. I, however, am an Xbox 360 man. I just had wonderful results with that console. It's very solid. The PlayStation 3, I've heard all sorts of buggy things about it and when it first came out, it had a bunch of problems. The Wii has a bunch of great games for beginner gamers, things to get you in, what I like to call gateway games, just like a gateway drug, except for gaming. But I'm not 
a beginner gamer. I like the hardcore, like Nick said, sit down with a remote, shoot your friends halfway around the world. It's just wonderful. Um, bad points on the 360 was the original console when it came out, the heat problems. I've heard they've solved it, and even if they haven't, they at least took the red LEDs out. Um, so yeah, Xbox 360, the best. Alright, <clears throat> I'm an Xbox 360 guy, hands down. I, I've owned two Xboxes, my first one died, Stephen fixed it one time, it died again, I bought a new one. But, all three systems are good systems, they all have good games. I like, for PlayStation, I like the Ratchet and Clank series, because it's PlayStation exclusive, which makes me sad inside. The Wii, I like Super Smash Brothers, enough said. But Xbox 360, uh, I like the online play. The servers are a lot more stable. PlayStation 3, I've, they were down for a really long time a while back. And I haven't, I've never had any problems with Xbox like that before. Where they've been down for like a month or two at a time. Like I think PlayStation was. I've never played the Wii online because I've never owned a Wii or gone online with it. <clears throat> but, they're all they're all good systems. They've all had their problems. They all have really good games on them for the most part. And uh, but I'm an Xbox 360 guy. Oh, and to go off Steven's point, don't do drugs. Um, I'd have to say the Xbox 360 is better than the PlayStation 3. Just the uh, exclusive games for the Xbox 360 are better. The Xbox 360 doesn't go out as much as the PlayStation 3 does. I've actually never had the Xbox network go down on me and the PlayStation 3 network um, I hear about it going down all the time so I mean I haven't really owned a PlayStation 3 though I mean the only thing it's got going for it really is the free thing so other than that I can't see why anybody would want it and the Wii I mean it's down there at third because I mean, the only good game for it in my opinion is Super Smash Brothers and I mean it's not really a very good internet quality where I am, so I can't really play it competitively or anything, so it's not really that fun for me. Um.